SCP-058, Heart of Darkness, Object Class, Keta. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-058 is to be kept in isolation in a 5 meters by 5 meters by 5 meter containment chamber at all times. Walls are to be constructed of 3 meters, 10 feet, of reinforced heat resistant steel, backed with a further 10 meters, 33 feet, of reinforced concrete. SCP-058 is to be fed a live cow every 3 days. Maintenance is to be conducted every 60 minutes, while SCP-058 is dormant, and every 15 minutes when SCP-058 is active. Under no circumstances, is SCP-058 to be allowed out of its containment area. SCP-058 is to be audio recorded at all times. No personnel are to listen to SCP-058 for more than 30 minutes at a time. In case of escape. Facility is to be considered compromised, and detonation of on-site nuclear weaponry is to commence. To date, SCP-058 has been responsible for the death of at least 149 Class D personnel and 14 agents at its current site. Description: SCP-058 resembles a bovine heart, with four arthropod-like legs used primarily for movement, and four tentacles of adjustable length, covered with razor-sharp spines. It has a single sharp stinger on its rear, where the hole for the superior vena cava would be in a typical organ. SCP-058's tentacles can be whipped to a distance of 3.2 meters, 10.5 feet, at speeds in excess of 320 kilometers per hour, 200 miles per hour. SCP-058 is extremely hostile, and will use every opportunity afforded to it to inflict damage on its surroundings. SCP-058 has been shown to be highly resilient to trauma, and should be approached with caution even when apparently incapacitated. SCP-058 is highly mobile and capable of rapid movement on both horizontal and vertical surfaces. It has been recorded reaching a speed of approximately 90 km per hour, 55 miles per hour, in short bursts, covering distances up to 200 meters. 656 feet, and has the ability to accelerate from 0 to 90 km per hour, 55 miles per hour. In less than 2 seconds, it has been shown to use its tentacles for increased leverage and stability, as well as utilizing them to pull itself to other surfaces at high speeds. SCP-058 speaks in a human voice, though no method of producing sound has been observed in its physiology. It speaks with vocal tone and accent of an elderly British male with a slight, lisp and deep voice. SCP-058 talks constantly, regardless of conditions, even when attacking. SCP-058's voice and pace of speech are unchanged. The speech of SCP-058 lacks any detectable correlation to events, persons, or exterior locations involved with SCP-058. See transcript of interview 05804. Notes. SCP-058 was first encountered at site data expunged as it came out of, data expunged. SCP-058 was extremely hostile, and appeared to be very agitated. Initially SCP-058 attacked site data expunged, which resulted in the death of data expunged faculty and data expunged agents. SCP-058 went on to attack the nearby town of Data Expunged, resulting in the death of over, redacted, citizens and the destruction of 70% of the surrounding buildings. Post-breach analysis determined a majority of the deaths are attributable to fire and fire-related injuries, resulting from a widespread of stinger fluid by SCP-058 from a large structure. This is also blamed for a majority of structural damage. Data expunged by SCP-058 accounts for only 8% of total deaths, with major evidence, data expunged. SCP-058 was finally contained, after being crushed and incapacitated by a large amount of masonry from a building, that had collapsed on top of it. SCP-058 was then extracted and transported to data expunged by agents and MTF teams. SCP-058 was contained at Data Expunged for three weeks, during which it made minimal attempts to move, attributed both to physical damage and bloating from Data Expunged during the initial breach incident. Testing during this period was limited, with SCP-058 still maintaining a high threat level even in its impaired state. 
SCP-058 breached containment on data, expunged during an attempted transfer to an SCP containment site, causing multiple deaths and injuries. SCP-058 was eventually incapacitated by Agent Data Expunged, who managed to subdue SCP-058 by running it over with an M1 tank, pinning it beneath the armored vehicle. SCP-058 was subsequently secured and transported to Armed Bio-Containment Area 14. Transcript of Interview 05804 SCP-058, I had dreams of the Queen Wonders that lived inside the hearts of love, and silent treatments of all the elderly, that I knew were one's whole. Dr. Johnston, what is your name? SCP-058, I seek the revelations of all that the holy told to the unwise in the dreams of cold embers in sunlight that fade across lakes of black blood and snakes that eat the loaves of children from lamb trees in autumn. Dr. Johnston, what is your name? SCP-058, endless suffering is the woe of ignorant men who never lack, to seek the depth of their own hearts and only see the wealth of a poor world suffering, to flay its own back and knife wounds of silver and brutal gladness. Dr. Johnston, where are you from? SCP-058, the nightmare is a dream to the nameless slug that wanders across minefield and the remains of deer and kings. Personal D-067. This is some creepy ass D-067 cuts off into screaming. SCP-058, Nightshade is shadows in all honest blinks that sort through the bile of newborn plagues, instant warmth is a mother's milk in dreams, before anything was ever evil. Personal D-067, continues screaming. Dr. Johnston, let him go. SCP-058, in seconds the sun is beating like drums and all hearts eat the air of noise. Personal D-067, screaming is cut short abruptly. SCP-058, the sensual violence of lust is all the assurance you will ever need to know the worth of life. End log. End of file.